you're live. Oh, it's like <laughs> immersive. <laughs> it's <laughs> immersive. <laughs> That's what we need. That's what we need. It's immersive. That's <laughs> how we be dispatched from Nemesis. Yeah. That's what it feels like. All the likes of <laughs> Bianca, welcome. Hi. This is this is surreal. I don't know what to do with myself because <laughs> usually I'm like, yeah, so anyway, tell me. But yeah, for some reason, like you said, yeah, you decided to come on here like I did. did anyone give you any warning like what are you doing no but I've been watching like I've been watching lots of different ones and I haven't seen them all um but I've definitely watched a few and I love the banter I I, I love what you guys talk about and yeah it's fun so to I be like, fa- to be fair that's one of the things what people kind of like said to us they were like you guys are actually genuinely nice guys you all get them which is really weird because we are so far from each other like yeah. Lee's two and a half hours uh, Rob's like three hours away you're about We're an hour 45 away. minutes well 45 away, minutes away so yeah so how we all come together I'm so yeah. tight it's, it's amazing but yeah so obviously the parks are now open Owen Towers has yes Nemesis we've got to talk about it straight away yes how was it like that for yourself day was amazing wasn't it like it was just yeah. amazing like the lead up to, I think, was the other really important part. Like it's, you know, as you kind of get closer, like 100 days and 50 days, mm. 30 days, and then everybody online is counting down and, you know, to be there on on, on the inside of the of the gate, you know, 5 a.m. my socials were going off at people at the gate at the front of the mm, park. Hello, I was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 5 a.m. Why would you, why would you like five in the ready, morning? ready to I, I go. I was there like, for the experience. Yeah. It was so much fun. Um. So, I mean, I, ca- I come at it from two parts, right? Because I'm 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 leading the park part yeah. and then obviously I'm there on the day to, you know, to see and, and to have everybody there. And I think also too, like after you've been closed, you know, in your off season and then you, and when you reopen and yeah. stuff, like it's, you know, to have the noise back, to have the guests back, to have everything moving again is like, it's, that feels normal to us, yeah. you know? So mm. that's really exciting. But I mean, everybody like dressed up and the shoes and the outfits and the preparation and just the buzz. It was so emotional, wasn't it? Like, yeah. and we were really passionate about it's it's got to be for the guests. Like, because everyone's like, oh, who's going to be on the first train and who's going to sit on the front seats? And and it was like unanimous across the uh, across the team that we were like, the first two trains are going to go out empty. And we like when everybody's in the queue, we want to go early. Like that was the ambition. Yeah. Like that's what we were working towards. And we want to send those two trains out empty when everybody's in that queue line and everyone sees it. And then like just bring them in and the guests are – are on the train um and it was just incredible and like and i think for me too like everyone's reaction to seeing the eye and like seeing all of the theming like up close like i i i was fully confident that everybody that's when it was going to make sense right because people had seen a lot of things people were talking about a lot of things like oh there's a shop in the queue line and (laughs) you know like that like everyone was kind of like speculating which is fine and everybody's on the fence line all season but for me i was like you know what it's 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 fine that everybody's talking about it and getting excited and being immersed and and kind of speculating because i was like it's not gonna it's not none of that's gonna matter because what will matter is when you're in that land um, and seeing everything and then, you know, as I said, seeing the eye, I think was for... That was a huge big secret because I'm not even... Because you know what <laughs> It was the best kept secret that we... Really that, really that was. That and the station, you know, and you've got to think about the hundreds and hundreds of contractors that we have on site. Yeah. Like keeping those things under wrap. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. It's so much work. Yeah. Like it, it honestly is. It's so much work. And when you're trying to do those things and deliver those things, that's... It, it, it takes a lot of time, you know, like to be that protective of those of those things. Like I know when things are in the car park, you know, I know when we have to lift, yeah. you know, when yeah. we have to lift yeah. the tail over and the legs and, yes. you know, like just all that sort of stuff. Like, you know, when we've always got people at the park and people at the resort. So, but the eye was, and like I said, the eye in the station. So I always sort of had that in the back of my head as, as did the rest of the team to say they can talk about stuff that they can see from RCR, from Roller Coaster Restaurant, and they can talk about stuff that they, you know, can see in the car park and from the fence line. But it will all come together when the actors are out and, you you know, and then the other part that was really important to me was just that transition to nighttime. Like I love lights. Like 
I, yeah. I just yes. love yeah, I that. life. I that. And having that from the beginning was so incredibly important. Um, and everybody seeing everybody, re- everyone's reaction to when they saw Forbidden Valley actually transfer to this nighttime experience and yeah. rides in the dark. And it so was, I was just standing there, just like going, day. Oh, it was just so magic. Good. It didn't rain. I mean, it rained at the end, didn't it? Yeah. But just. Yeah, I went home. Just, sorry, Bianca. Did you? I was I was tired. I've been there since early. You. I was I was on a on a bench right next to pizza and pasta, about to drop to sleep. But I was I was determined to see Nemesis at night. Because I said to you, because I was we did a vlog and we said to you like, Jake, I'm done now. Yeah, <laughs> I need to go home now. I'm, it was a long day, especially like from five o'clock yeah. arrivals, right? And we were still there. And then obviously the rain was right at the end. But yes. she ran beautifully all day. Yep. Two Christ. trains, like she she just. Oh, I couldn't have been happier, you know, and like just seeing everybody's reaction to it. And I was a bit disappointed um, about the shop though, because like you said in the queue line, oh. I, was, I, I wanted a drink because I've queued up for like two and a half hours. I was like, oh, there's you a have, shop. There's you should have been there the at five o'clock in the morning no, with right. me and then you would have gone straight on it. <laughs> and then and then, and then, then when I got closer to it, I thought, it's saying a shop. No. This is the, what, what is this? No, I was so annoyed. No. But it's nice to have a rolling pre-show for Nemesis. Yeah. I thought it was great. Absolutely. And to advance the story even more. Yeah. And it's... It like Nemesis means a lot to a lot of people. It does. It, like you don't. I I knew it had a big following until until like the what the closing day and the reopening day. Mm. Those two days, are, are, in my opinion, are two of the best days I've had at Alton Towers. Yeah. And it was the, the atmosphere was incredible. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't there for closing day, but I had seen it all obviously yeah. online because I didn't start till after that. Yeah. Um, and I only just missed it when I first came to to Towers. Yeah. Um, because it was at the sort of uh, it was a couple of weeks after the closing. Um, but yeah, I'd seen all that content and stuff. So for me, opening day was like the first time for me to wow, actually okay. kind of like see it. Which again, you've got that build up because I'd been on the project for over a year. Yeah. Um, so obviously from when I took over, and um, yeah, it was just it was just incredible. And seeing everybody's reaction like not not just to the ride but just the, just everything the yeah. merch you know the <sighs> land the characters the i know don't even start i just <laughs> i love product development i love merch yeah. you know like it it, it just it, it, all of it plays it's such yeah. an important part i think and just for everybody to see that transition from curse you know and how far we've come in 12 months to then deliver a land yeah like i, I yeah it's just a, it was just a dream come true. I love the merch from Nemesis Reborn. I'm just going to say it now. <laughs> you got you got some. Merch I, I got the denim jacket, and I've not lived not a day and not I wanted the hoodie, that. and it's sold out. Oh. And I was saying to the back, the back. back. Are they yeah, all we've back? restocked a restocked. lot of stuff already. Like yeah, I mean it was a two and a half hour queue, wasn't it, to get yeah. in the shop on opening day, yeah. um, which was just massive. I think we probably sold around about thirteen weeks worth of stock. Oh my god, on no, opening you didn't. day, really? Yeah. It was just, it was just crazy. And I think like the other thing for me was like having the three ranges was also really important because we, we did the phalanx range for the opening of NST and that little pop up. And I was, I was really like, wow, this is really like, people are, people are consuming, like they're they're into it. Like we hadn't, you know, phalanx caps and they sold out and I was like, okay, this is great. And so then going into reborn, it was like, okay, well, you're definitely going to have a reborn. Let's put the phalanx back in there. And then I had, obviously everybody has existing merch. So I was like, well, what's the vintage tweak? So we were like, well, let's do Nemi 94. Like that's what made sense and have the trucker caps and the denims and, you know, like w- what were those products then and, mm. you know, try to celebrate it and, you know, things weren't embroidered really. You know, they were prints on bottles and stuff. So we tried to really stay true to it in terms yeah. of, of, of that and the Nemi 94 range. It's, it's incredible. It's so good. I love it's it. so good. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love my denim jacket. I will wear <laughs> I that until the day I die. To I be fair, adore the, it. the 94 is when I worked on it. I operated Nemesis at yeah. the time. So I kind of was like, oh, they brought it back. A bit of tear to me. I thought, yeah, absolutely incredible ride. I mean, I was so pleased for yourself and your team the success that it gave you guys like, it must give you such a buzz like oh yeah it, i mean it's all your hard work isn't it like yeah. and it just pays off and now that and now everybody's in the land and and you know again it's the benchmark it's it's how we want to be and and it's and it's future forward for us so yeah. i mean absolutely it's the best land in the uk like it's the best themed land in the uk for sure I think we did a break run episode and I think we are doing our top five. <laughs> we land? are doing our top five UK lands. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and Forbidden Valley is on there. I yeah. would like, okay. I'm not 
thrilling <laughs> where it is, but it is on the list. It is so on the list. Don't worry. If it's on the top five, you know what? I'm happy. <laughs> they, don't get me wrong. I want the number one spot. But, um, well, you wait and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching. Yes, I'm going to dial in. <laughs> um, we've got to talk about the curse because obviously that was your baby. Was it your baby? Uh, no, was it such, or well, did, were you literally on the back end of? I was the on the back end, so I started five weeks before the start of the main wow. season in twenty three. So they were well, well into you know, like I came right in at the last five weeks when you're starting to really mm. kind of like push. You know, yeah. where are we at? You know, um, making sure everything's ready to go. So that's always difficult to pick up a project from from there, especially when I was just getting to know everybody. Um, but. You know, that, that was a great learning for me just to go, okay, who's who, yeah. who's, how does this work? That was the first time I met JB. Um, and then also I had met John, you know, in the same time I met John Wardley as well. So it was right up into the lead up. But then it was like, okay, you, you, you know, you can see how this works and then how do I want to take it forward? Yeah. And obviously I went back and made investment before Scarefest just to to fix up some stuff and spend some extra money. Um, and then went back again in the closed season to put in the operating system um, do some work on the trouble. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's never finished. Yeah. It really is not. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a tweaker. No, that's I like good to though. Just like, yeah. Oh, that could be a little bit more, and that could be a little bit more. But you know, it has to make sense. And you I mean you're making an investment every single time, and you know, you're making a, an active decision. There will there will always be a demand for more. Yeah. You know, there there always is, no matter no matter what you do, and that's okay. Um, and you just you just kind of work through it. Yeah, you know? I get that. Well, like, what what got me was the cue. I remember because you went to the opening. Yeah, I went to opening day. I I think that I, went back to about that went back to Pete's past it, on opening was, day. It was it was yeah, and it, it like I said, like Kurz, I in my opinion, Kurz is like the step, like the step forward into the future Alton Towers in yeah. my eyes, and like like going back to Nemesis, like this is like the standard, which is like for years that we've we've wanted investment going into Alton Towers, yeah. and it's it's great to see it actually yeah. coming to light and curse is in my opinion it still is the best dark ride in the uk yeah with hex up there as well i adore hex I absolutely adore what's hex. happening with hex is it coming <laughs> back I, when, I want, reopening, I want it. reopening soon <sighs> i love that ride have you been on it i went on it that was the first ride that i went on oh. um yeah at the start of the season yeah. so i didn't yeah, it was right at the we had opened uh, in 23. We'd opened for the main season, yeah. opened Curse, and it was the first ride that I went on. And because I had read so much and, you know, about it being outside of Alton and before I came over to the UK, so I sort of had this kind of thing in my in my head. Um, and I was, yeah, I mean, I, I was like mesmerised by, you know, I just really didn't, so I just didn't know like what yeah. was happening and I was really kind of like why am I feeling so confused I've been confused <laughs> for like such a long time and I just because I didn't know I didn't know what the ride system was or anything oh, okay. like I really tried to just, wow, just okay. stay like from a guest perspective on that one mm. um and so yeah and so I'm really excited to reopen it and that's really all I'll you know yeah, like no, yeah. we've put money back into it that's what I'll say you know we've reinvested back yeah. into it and for me it's about bringing it back to its to its glory and Absolutely. you know I think you've heard me say it before I I, I want things to be back on on. I want things to be, you know, systems that we have and upgrade systems and all that sort of stuff. It just yeah. takes time. And, you know, I had a great window of opportunity or we had a great window of opportunity last year when it when it, um, when it when it was closed. Yeah. So. I mean, I was gutted I was because well, I love Hex. I Who love doesn't Hex. like Hex? And I, I love yeah, the, the, the sneak preview we had in that, that the pre-season. <laughs> I did. I gave one scene away. Did you? Yeah. yeah. It just, it's the queue line or the new lighting in the queue line who made me very happy and excited. I didn't yeah. see that. Why did I not see that? I will show you later. Yeah. It's in I the season to... opener. I did yeah. one. I sh we showed one scene. Oh, I need to see that. The so very the, the entrance. Um, but I suppose, yeah, but because with Hex, I love, like you said, the whole story. I love I love story. the story of yeah. the Chilean Oak. Like how unique is it? It's just incredible. So like I said, like... Uh, yeah, I, I just, I want to bring it yeah. back. And there's a lot of stuff happening, right? Like we've just opened Nemesis Reborn. You know, we've opened a whole land and a valley. There's lots of things happening. You know, lots of ha lots of things happening across Merlin. Hex deserves its moment to shine 100%. at the right time. And, yep. you know, so I'm excited. Well, 100%. But we've got to talk about yourself and your, your past. Because like, I've always... I've always wondered, like, what is it like to manage a theme park? Because I'm a massive planet coaster or <laughs> roller coaster tycoon kind of. Is it like that? I want to know, like. Oh, I don't think so. Is it not? See, this is why you'd be successful at it. I'll be everything. I'm always in debt. I'm always getting that 15 million pound loan <laughs> to try and build that coaster. So it's a case of like. So what's it like, though? It's got to be like, oh, the dream of the dreams. Like It's an incredible job, you know, like it, it's it's. 
you know, I've been doing this for 30 years, you know, like I I started, I mean, you guys have heard me say it before. Like I started as a ride operator. I started, I got, my first coaster was a Vacoma boomerang. It was the eighth one in the world. It was in Australia. And I spent a lot of time at that panel and um, operating that attraction. And I just love it. It has a really special place in my heart. Like, Uh, you know, right. I'm a ride uh, operator. And my first ever ride was a Vacoma junior boomerang. There you go. There we go. Got a connection there. There we go. There you go. I'll be the divisional director of Hawk Towers one day. Leave you it with me. You just never know. There we go. You just never know. So, I mean, yeah, I mean I've been I've been I've been in parks and theme yeah. parks and water parks and all that sort of stuff. Like I don't know any I don't know anything different, you know, and um and I've stayed incredibly committed and I've just I just backed myself the whole entire time and I'm open to learning and I'm you know like uh, I've had incredible mentors and I guess the one thing that I would say is that in my 30 years I've never had a female CEO or GM above me they've all been they've all been males really? which okay. is like you know like wow. for the industry it's like come on girls like let's That's go good. like you know so um and uh, you know, from Australia to the Middle East, like like everywhere, um, oh. it's just been incredible. So I guess it's like Planet Coaster, but in you know, <laughs> like in real life. At the end of the day, I'm leading and and running a business. You know that absolutely that you know I have to make investment decisions. You know I'm making day to day decisions. I'm leading people. I'm looking after their welfare. I'm you know culture, transportation. Like when I was in the Middle East, it was accommodation and you know food and you know like just all that all that stuff like i just love groups of people i love experiences and i know at some point you're gonna say you know what's your favorite ride it's not about the metal it's not i'm I'm so not fixated on the metal i'm so passionate about the overall like i said like i love product development i love merchandise i love immersive dining i love attractions you know like anything that i can I can like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like have have a have a piece of the pie and yeah. you know and play in that world and and you know my weeks can be different every single week. My days are different. The park's different every day depending yeah. on what mix of audience you have or where I'm working. You know I've worked in places that are highly international volume, so you've got all these language stuff that you need to work through. I've worked in places that it's domestic and it's like lots of annual passes. You know, and Alton is this incredible mix of. All of that, right? Like thrill, family. You yeah. know, you've got a yeah. big, you've got a big annual pass base. So you've got a lot of regularity. You've got a lot of people coming into this, seeing everything day to day. So, Absolutely. you know, so but the day will change. Like it depends on the holidays or the time of year or what day. Of, and people move around the park. But I think the one thing for me is everybody that's in that in your resort on any particular day is having a unique experience to that specific like you're having your experience as a as a group as a family but no one else in the resort is is experiencing what you're experiencing yeah, no, I right? get that. yeah I get so that. when there's this generalization of you know the day or there's this assumption or, or people are talking about stuff actually you you can't compare because you went that way they went that way they went this way you know like they do different things so i just love that kind of like how people move how guests move where do they go to you know what resonates what do they see like just i mean i I could talk about it (laughs) no no but that's that's a completely different perspective i just love that yeah Mm. and then making decisions I love solving problems, you know, like I love talking to the teams. I've literally worked in every single position. I've cleaned toilets. Yeah. I've worked with medical. I've worked with engineering. You know, I worked in marketing for a long time. I've worked with lots of IPs. Like, you know, I spent a huge part of my career in water parks. So I have like this deep found respect for aquatic operation as well as hard rides and you know, I worked in a venue uh, and uh, a dinner arena. It was, it was kind of like a nighttime venue, about a thousand people. Um, and we did a huge, big like animal show with horses. So I've worked through horse management and, and like, oh my like gosh. you know, like just, you know, I worked with SeaWorld and yeah. worked on dolphin experiences and like just, I know it sounds like I have, but I mean, that's 30, like that's, that's what I've done. Your CV. Like, so. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. But, that. I, that's, but that's so like, good. I just knew. I just. I just knew. I just knew that I was going to lead. Like it was. Just, it's just the only thing I ever wanted to do once I got that job, um, and I never. I never believed anything else. Like I just knew that I would get there, and you know, I spent a lot of time as a two IC when I got right to the top, and I was a two IC for a while on some really big projects, design and build. I did the design and build of Wet and Wild Sydney. 
Um, I mean, I stood in the middle of a greenfield site with nothing there. And, and you know, wow. within 18 months, there was slide towers and 18,000 people standing in the water park. And I was like, that was pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> that is though, isn't it? Yeah. Like I, I designed colors and names of slides and yeah. like put a fast pass queue on all the towers in a water park and, you know, launched RFID, like just all this ama- amazing stuff. And I remember standing there going, there's 18,000 people here today and here's my photo of when there was nothing there and everything was drawn on, you know, on a piece of paper and, and got it to, to like, I just... Do you, do you sometimes they look at <laughs> That's yourself? That's like Planet Coast. Yeah, I was about right? to say like... But, but for, re- like, for real, <laughs> yeah. right? And, but I think about it every day. I'm, you know, and, and I always have, like, I just, I love the people that I get to work with. I love teams of people. Yeah. I love the guests. Like, I just... You can sense it as well, uh, especially what, and also what you've done so far in the park is just miles away, like good away, the fact of like what people want. Yeah. Hugely. Like we've been screaming, well, we've been doing ATT now for years now. And we've always said like, come on, Alton Towers, come on, let we need this, we need that. And it's it's not like they're not listening, but they're just, they're just taking their, their time, sweet time. But like with yourself, all of a sudden you've just come in and boom, straight away made things happen instantly and it's and it's good it's so so good and it's I, so refreshing as well and i can't you know i can't talk about the past because i you know i yeah. wasn't yeah. there and i and i've been in plenty of situations you know where where i got into a park or whatever and i'm so respectful of operators and 100%. you know i i can never assume you know like why did they make that decision like yeah. you know because you just don't know what's going on at the time yeah. and you know what's happening with your with your business as a whole right like no I get you that, know yeah. um so i'm i'm always really respectful of it i'm just i'm just very certain on what my decisions are and my view is and and where I want to take things and like I said I love making decisions I love solving problems Mm -hmm. and because I have so much respect for all of those departments that's what I feel comes really natural to me where I'm like that's a problem that's something we're going to have to focus on how do you take this on the journey you know like on those types of things and and put those put those pieces together and you know I, I I just love that um, and I spend time in the park, like anytime That's I'm good. not, I just, anytime that I can get out there, um, I, I, I just try to be out there, you know, with the team as well, you know, like going down to the attractions and going into the booths and, you know, going to the shops and talking to them and, you know, because their challenges are, are real and you need to work through that as well. Like there's the delivery part of what it is that we do and what everybody sees, but there's a massive kind of, you know, like behind the scenes and what's happening day to day and, and I just, I love that too, because I've, I've been in that environment. I've sat in those booths for a long time, you know, like I've worked in those shops or I've had, yeah. you know, you've been in places where they, you just don't have the equipment to do what you need to do. And I just am like, no, you good. need to work through it. It just takes time. It just, it just takes time. Do you know, I remember the first time I properly uh, spoke to you <laughs> in February and you clear, you made a very valid point and it made me realize and you love listening to feedback. Feedback's I do. one of your favorite things. It and is. you, you. I, I I can't speak to about other people, but it's nice to see like people like yourself watching content creators and watching, listening to feedback uh, and your team listening to feedback online and everything, which is nice to see for once. Because yeah. we, it's, it, do you get what I mean? It's like, it's, we actually have a voice, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Rather it just being, oh, we're just an annual pass holder. It, it just comes once in a while type of thing. It's nice to hear that feedback is being heard and yeah. absolutely an investment where investment needs to go is going even if it's in the public view or yeah. it's behind the scenes on attractions and software and etc. And I do really have to control myself because you know you can get you can get really lost in it, you know, especially because there is so much content online now. Yeah. You know, like again when I was starting that just it didn't exist like how it is does now. You know, I've got someone vlogging in the park every single day. Yeah. Like I've got someone taking a photo of their family even if they're not a content creator. Like yeah. you know, what are they standing in front of? And yeah. you know, yeah. what, what is that sight line and what are they seeing and where are they where do they stand their kids to take a picture and is there a bin there? You know, like <laughs> no, yeah. you know, it, it's that kind of stuff. Off. so um but i think i think what where i where i'm able to stay really balanced is because i have so much experience yeah. and because i love it some sometimes there's stuff that i go oh yeah I, I absolutely see what you see 
and but I also have a sight line too, don't I, of what the list is of where yeah. we're at and what we're where we're trying to go. So it doesn't mean that things aren't a priority or that no, I yeah. don't, you know, there's definitely some headlines I think out there about different things and I'm like, I see it, like I, I get it, but they're not a priority. But we're we're kind of we're kind of here and yeah, it, it yeah. will just take time to get there. You know, yeah. like but that, that list never it, there's always a list. It yeah. doesn't matter what, what park you yeah. are or what so, resort you are or yeah. There's, a, there's always a list. <laughs> there's always a list. <laughs> Down that list. And if there wasn't a list, there's, there's a problem. Like, yeah, I, I just wouldn't be interested. Like, no. I just, you know. The problem solving aspect of it. Yeah. That's like, always, always thinking and et cetera. But what, yeah. what, one thing I was really intrigued on was you, you say you've worked in parks, what, Australia, UAE, and now the UK. Yeah. Do you see a vast difference in um, how they're like managed, in, managed and oh, how yeah. overly ran? Like yeah. you were saying, domestic and international visitors type of thing. Yeah, is it, is and the it a- weather has a huge impact. Yeah. Like not only just on like day to day visitation, of course it does. But I mean, you guys, you you guys just put your jackets on and off you go. Like yeah. you're, mm. I'm impressed. Like honestly, <laughs> yeah. I'm really impressed. <laughs> In Australia, if it rains, you'll go. Oh, I'll go tomorrow because it'll be sunny. Whereas <laughs> you guys put your jacket on <laughs> and off you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the weather does have a big impact, right? Yeah. Like on on all of your assets, on on your resort, on your pathways, on you can know, like your water flow, like your your facility facilities everything like when it's when everything's wet all the time yeah you know like yes. it's just a whole another level of management and then like the seasonality and the cold weather and operating in the cold weather and stuff like i get a lot of people tagging me and like this coaster can operate in minus two and like why can't yeah. you and like it's, it's like well, it's different supply different weather <laughs> like di- like it's different they're, they're not that they're not the same um and then in the middle east it's so hot like it's so incredibly hot in summertime that it's like it's too hot to swim like yeah. you know, so you, you, I need that. Sorry. It's just, <laughs> like when you go to the beach, yeah. on, it's, you know, when you go to the water, the open water in the UAE, it's like bath water. Yeah. Like it's so really? it's warm because it it's so hot there. I've never been. I've yeah. Never been. So they are different because I think you you weather for sure, and whether you're predominantly indoor or predominantly outdoor, like all those different types of things. And I and I and I, and I think too, it also depends on where that company is at. Like if you talk about Australia or the Middle East or the UK in terms of the company that you're working for and what's been their investment in technology and what's been their investment in 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 relation to like the systems that you use and, you know, all that sort of stuff and how big is their portfolio and are they really kind of like together and, yes. you know, doing things together and making decisions together and leveraging the fact that you are a portfolio. It's it, it's it's also different. So it's yeah. hard to kind of go, it's this, it's this, this. Yes. you know, and then it's yeah. this because it, th- there's there's uniqueness to all of it. Mm. I think for me, it's like all of my learning experiences from Australia that sort of set me up for like then this incredible experience in the Middle East, which is what like, was that like? It's it was just the most incredible experience of of my career to mm. be there and operating there in a completely different world. Um, and then, you know, and then coming to the UK and then that's different again. Like, yeah. you know, like um, enthusi- the enthusiasts here are... Oh, we're, are, not, we're nuts. They're not it. like the other countries. Like yeah. it doesn't, you know, there's not this like insatiable appetite and, you know, all these content creators to this to this kind of scale, um, which I, I I just love. Like there's just a different point of view, isn't there? And just seeing seeing what they see throughout the day and, yeah. and what makes sense. And I must admit, when we, when we did a fan cam outside Nemesis... Uh, yeah, I saw you guys down and there. Like <laughs> and we were literally turning around, oh my gosh, all these thuses, there's tons. There's, there's absolutely so many. loads of it, mate. And it's such a good, it must be, like you said, it's good for you. Um, but yeah, overall though, it's, I'm so jealous. I want a job like that. <laughs> you have to <laughs> keep working on Planet say. Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, it comes with stress too. Like, you yeah. know, like I have good days too, you know, yeah. good days and bad days and tough days and, you know, where I'm making decisions and stuff or, or you're like, okay, you can't do it all. I have to be patient. You know, yeah. like I want to, I want to do it all in one hit too, but I, it's just, you just can't do it that way, you know? So, mm. um, but yeah, I, uh, I, it's a special job. It's a special job. You know, like if I tell people what I do, they just, like, you get that response. Like, yeah, you do what? Like, I, I know. you know, cause it's not, it's not something that, comes up quite a lot is it like in a conversation you know you go to dinner with go to dinner with a group of people I'm and so cool. you've flex. kind of got that mixture right <laughs> yeah. like uh, and you go yeah I, I lead a theme park or I work in a theme park and it's always had that response like that's yeah, amazing sorry I'll be like to my wife like who's your friend what yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. um but yeah but what is it like working with John and John both but which Johns. John both, uh, John's. both, yeah, Johns, both, both Johns. Johns I have so much respect for them yeah. both honestly 
uh, John Wardley shares the most incredible stories and I can I can call him and talk to him about, like, tell me something, like, I need to know about this history of this or, yeah. you know, what was this or, you know, what was that decision based on? And he'll share that story. He reached out to me after Merlin had made the announcement that I was coming to Alton Towers. He reached out personally and I was like, oh, this is exciting, <laughs> you know, because I knew who he was and, yeah. you know, so um, we have a great cup of tea together and, you know, nice. he, he's great. Like, he, I'd love to get him on here. He has a vision and, you know, he, he had a vision and he was yeah. like, at the forefront wasn't he so it's it's really nice to kind of like tap into that at any point yeah. in time um and listen you know from his perspective he's a creator you know he's a visionary oh, all yeah. that great stuff he loves it he loves alton towers resort you know like um so so that's great and then there's john burden who is is the modern day john wardley mm-hmm. you know like yeah. is you know I, I met him in a project meeting we 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 get on together we we share stuff together we talk about the same type of stuff you know like we're really kind of in in sync um which is really nice from a creative perspective and then from a you know from from my from my role and stuff as well so i i just adore them both i think they're both incredible um yeah, yeah because, because I just... we, we saw we saw them. Uh, when was it? Was it last week or the week? I can't remember what it was now. I saw John Burton. And it was by yeah. him. He came over to us and he was like, you're right, Danny. And I was like, Ooh, oh, and I did hello. twig like, who is this guy? Is it, is it, does he want a photo? Like, no, it wasn't. But I was like, and then twig like, oh my gosh, it's John. You're right, John. And he's like, yeah, yeah, not bad. And uh, we, we joked saying, you need to get on here. He's like, yes, I know. I'll get on soon. Yeah. Um, but he's uh, he's such a lovely guy. And he's such he's, a talented guy as well. He's so talented. Yeah. He's so talented. He's creative. He's talented. He's smart. He he gets it. He's passionate about it. He you know he spends time in it. You know which yeah. is great. And I think that that's why we just also connect too because we'll go yeah. and walk the park and you know we 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 have a really we have a really nice kind of like we can have a really great conversation and see things together. And um, I remember when I came came to him for for curse and I was like I want to spend a little bit more money and do a little bit more. And he was like, okay, let's, you know what I mean? Let's talk about it. Let's go down and, and let's go and ride the ride and let's really talk about what it is that we're trying to do here and how do we launch it. And like, I was like, I want it to be a surprise and let's do something together and let's do that before Scarefest because that makes sense. And, yeah. you know, like just doing all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, we worked well together. I, you know, I continue to, to love working on projects with him and, yeah. you know, and we are, so that's great. <laughs> oh, no, it's so, so nice. Yeah. Speaking of events and stuff, we have to talk about obviously Scarefest yes. itself. Yes. Any big plans? We've already made one announcement, haven't we? Yeah. Dungeon. <laughs> did we? <laughs> you had to think then, didn't you? I did. I did. I did. You had to think. Dungeon. Yes, the dungeons. Dungeon. Yeah, so that'll close just before the start of summer. Yeah. I'm quite sad. <laughs> I'm, I, I've done it a few times. I'm quite, I actually like it. Yeah. I do. I do. Especially the boat ride. Everyone thinks, yeah, but then it's just a boat. It's, it's just going to close for Scarefest. Is that all? Oh, is it? Oh, no. oh okay. That's good then. That's oh. good. It's going to close. Give oh, us some time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Scarefest itself, the event. I'm excited. I How can... many Scarefests have you been to? I've been to tons. I've been to... What's tons? Is that 10? Uh, that, that's that's a lot. But that's... I've, I've been going since I was like six. Yeah. Right. And I'm 20 this year. So okay. I've been going for about... 15 and i'm like in my 40s so yeah i've okay. been i've been to quite a few okay um what i do miss i'm not gonna lie to you is scare zones we did we used to have burial grounds last year yeah came back we scare zone back came back one, last we? year you didn't do did scare i didn't do it <gasps> you didn't do scare i'm sorry year. bianca i'm sorry yes hands is up yes i'm guilty for it why didn't i not go i did i remember doing burial grounds because that's the first time i properly met you because you were at the exit asking for people's oh, feedback yeah. and i um I really liked Burial Grounds. It was good, wasn't it? It was good fun. Yeah. Where was Burial Grounds? Well, I don't know. Why did I know this? Mr. Wicker Man. So you know the... Uh, oh, of course! The construction yes, path down yes. the side. Yes, I do remember now. Yes, I remember now. Yeah. Great use of that It path. was. I heard positive things. Yeah, it was really huge, great. Huge, like, things about really that. Um, I love Daz Games as well. Daz. Did you? I really did liked Did you win? Uh, sadly, no. Never. But I did I, it about I three... T- oh, I won. We need to have a competition. Let's go, <laughs> let's go and do it. What is Daz Games? It took me two goes, but I did does games because <laughs> you, you didn't do scarefest basically you didn't do panic oh, I did it. it's does games is like a youtuber and basically his scare his scare attraction was that you went into this big like room okay. um and you got to collect uh with your wristband symbols, symbols like three symbols and once okay. you collected all that's three different. that's cool you had you had to escape 
And basically, like, there was actors in there trying to stop you getting to places. Full RFID set up too, by the oh, way. Right, so okay. you check in, you get your symbols. Your symbols are different to everybody else that's in the game. And then when you're inside, they're all set up. No. Yeah, it was really, it was really yeah. fun. And I mean, it was really interesting, wasn't it? There was a lot of feedback. Yeah. And there was a lot of like different points of view because it was di- it was something very different for Alton, wasn't it? But that was our highest rating scare maze of the event. Yeah. No. All the merch sold out. It, it rated number one and mm. the re- the repeatability was was massive. Like people were going round and round and round. Like, that that and sounds... I mean, that's the sign of success. Like, you know, it, it it was great. Like everybody responded really well. Everybody had fun and, you know, like keep it light. Like just like they had it's a good a bit time. It's different The as tech well. was good. It was like, you know, people were like, oh, you could have stayed in there long. Like, again, there was lots of feedback. Yeah, great. Like love mm. it. Like mm. bring it on. But like for that event, it it. It, it was fantastic. Like, yeah. I am and when you say listen to feedback and you get all your scores in and you get all your feedback, like that's what the feedback told us. Yeah. Like, everybody that was in the park, that that was the best one. Yeah. I, I mean, I wish, I wish, I wish I went to it now. You should have. Why did I not yeah. go? Was I not here? Was it I away? It wasn't a highly themed, you know, maze. It was. It, didn't it need was to interactive. Be. Like it was. It was different. It was a game. It was a scare. And that's why we were like, it's a scare attraction almost. You know, like that's what we were sort of saying. It's not. It's not a maze necessarily. Hmm. Yeah. It, it did have a. You know, yeah. like there was pathways and all that sort of stuff, but it was a scare attraction on a, on a different level. And yeah. and his audience and, you know, and new audiences, um, you know, we did meet and greets with dads. There was so much demand for him to meet him and see him. And as I said, all his merch sold out. And, that's and mad. And it was... It was it was great. Yeah. Like, I again, am, listen I am. to feedback and that's, that's what it told us. Um, so this year, I guarantee it that I will be going. You're going to come. I'm going to come. Okay. I'm really intrigued for Scarefest this year because I'm I'm it's like last last year was like your year for no getting to know Orton Towers, I'm guessing yes. twenty three. So twenty four is like I'm really intrigued to see how your team we have Scarefest this year. I'm really, really intrigued. I wonder what And again, like great projects, that is, like, we started our first Scarefest 24 meeting a week after that event. Oh, really? Um, So everybody comes, I bring everybody back into the room. We have all of the data, all of the insight, department by department. It's like a SWOT, like what I would refer to as a SWOT analysis, you know, those strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, you know, like. So every department got to do that um, and on Scarefest, like what were our challenges? What was great? What was, you know, how, how did we all operate? What were our results? What was the feedback? What was our throughputs? Like nice. all of it. We just literally deep dive and, and throw everything in. So you've got one document that has all of that information and then we go, okay, so now let's talk about 2024. Yes. Yeah. You know, so what does that what does that what does this tell us and where do we want to go and what do we want to do and you know what is the level of investment and you know what does this look like and what decisions do we need to be making now? Um and then that continues. So that's that it's it it's not like it's just it just yeah, pops up. And I think you I think have I think to give it time. That's one portion of yeah. of our season and we've got you know, we've got Christmas and we've got summer and we've got opening, like opening for Bidden Valley and yeah. delivery of Nemesis, you know, like I put Alton After Dark on top of that. Like oh, best it's event. just, it's just like, but as I said, like that started a, a week after Scarefest finished. Do you know, I didn't realise how quick <laughs> Scarefest talks start. That's really intriguing for me. I thought like, I thought like, well, if in my eyes without knowing anything, I thought it'd be like, what, February, March time, like what's the season. That we'd kicked. start talking yeah, about it. I thought it'd be about, August in order. Yeah. <laughs> I all like honesty. to be real. Like uh, the, the the more advanced that we can be in terms of making our decisions, the, yeah. the better the execution in in my eyes. And that's what my you know my experience is is like if we're in that place where we're forward planning and we're thinking ahead, um, you know, I, I I ideally like to sit three years in front of the present day in mm. terms of like okay, that's how that's going to play. That's that season. That's this one. You know, because you're investing and you're making those decisions. And where do you need to be in terms of your performance of the business and what's coming in and because it just takes a lot, such a long time to plan for things and stuff so yeah like we're, we're in there we're well in the thick of of planning and talking and and on a regular basis for scarefest and because it, oh, it doesn't so actually to me doesn't feel like it's that far away it, it's not like yeah. especially when we're going okay we've got to do this we've got to do yeah. this we've got to do yeah. this we've got to be here and 
and you know you work backwards from when you actually have to announce publicly as well like so that takes a whole chunk of time off as well because you have to be ready with everything yeah. to go in the lead Makes up sense. to you know like driving that you know driving that story um well ahead of the event to make sure you know you're, you're selling your hotels and doing those things like <laughs> It's yeah. Planet Coaster. There you go. <laughs> this is what we're just going to refer with. This is what we're going to title it. Yeah. Bianca, please. Planet Planet Coaster. Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> like, Scarefest, it makes yeah. me, like, after seeing Pirate Takeover, I, you didn't get the chance to go to Pirate Takeover. I didn't. And, and ha- There's so many examples of, like, three different events that you haven't been to. <laughs> just, I do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Pirate Takeover was... Yeah. yeah I, I, well, I've never been to a pirate how, takeover how before. How many times did you go? Did you go twice? I went once. Okay. It was the one day. Right. Um, I came straight from here, actually. Oh, did you? Filmed an interview, came okay. straight there. Um, and genuinely, it was fantastic. Like, the, from the bits I saw, like, putting actors onto, what is it, Battle Galleons? <gasps> that was my That was part. so good. Well, like, I heard about it's them. like, basically, Jungle Cruise is the best way to describe. Yeah. I described it to people. It was like having a, a skipper, but like a pirate on... That is pretty cool. And you told me the story about getting rid of the water and the guns or something. Yeah, because, I mean, again, like, it, it's that, again, I'm so upset. You guys have got me obsessed about the weather now that I live in the UK. So, you know, when I came to the very first Pirate Takeover, it was like the weather was quite poorly, you know, like, but that that attraction sits right there and it wasn't op- op- as part of Pirate Takeover in 22, like, oh, sorry, in 23 when I was when I was there. And I was like, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> Battle Galleons is pirate yeah like it, it, it's right there sitting there and then i was like okay well let's just let's turn it into a dry experience like because that's what you would do on a water ride yeah you have a dry setting and you have a wet setting you know so i was like well then our version of the dry setting is put people uh, it's like let's put pirates on the boats yeah you guys go away and figure <laughs> out the story but i, I, I want to put pirates on the boats and turn the guns off so everybody stays dry because if it's uh, they don't want to get wet like totally, I get that. you know and everybody just went like crazy and you know like i watched it's, yeah, a super fun, super fun for families. I and wish I went now because I, I saw I saw vlogs and I was just like, damn it, I should have gone. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll go next year. And also yes. like Sea Life as well. Sea Life, we had pirates pi- inside yeah. Sea Life. And then we opened Sabibi's Land, like a whole land. So that, again, took a whole year of wow. planning because we opened a whole land. Now, there were people there that were like, they just assumed it was going to be open, like they didn't understand. But behind the scenes, that was massive for us to have that land open and operational um as part of that event and you know it was it was so great it was so, it's such a great event like it, it's I'm, I'm super happy. fun great I, for families really immersive mm. interactive it's not all about always about the rides is it it's a, you no. can do other things and and again that's that's immersiveness yeah immersive and i think that's what we've come across later like we've uh, gone to a park say we've gone to open towers and we've probably ridden one ride yeah. The rest of the times we're just walking around, chatting, yeah. grabbing a drink, this and that. So yeah, you are right. The, the fact of it is not always about the rides, or that's one of the reasons why you do go there. But it it's is. literally the the families you're with, the groups you're with, the immersion of everything. So and the live actors. Is- well, so that's oh, the other thing, wow. right? Street team this year is wow is yeah. great, right? So you got pirates in mutiny base. I was like, let's let's continue that. Um, Wicker Man, I just, I just love that. You know, I was like, let's do some drumming. Let's, let's get some people out there. Plus, obviously, the flames were back. So I was like, yes. try to celebrate this. And, you know. That was all over social media, I know, by the way. All over, I played on that one. <laughs> I definitely played on that one. Um, you know, again, Forbidden Valley, yeah. you know, Curse Actors, Curse Team, all there. You know, Alton Bear. I saw him the summer before when he came out for Summer of Fun. And everybody was like, oh, I just saw everybody's response to Alton Bear. And I was like, okay, the bear's coming back. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> h- how do we work this into? Yeah. you know into the street team and then you know breakfast and characters at breakfast and all that sort of stuff because that's what you want to see. like that's what Absolutely. you want to see it's 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 not i'm not i'm not coming up with a brand new model i'm just you know what i mean bringing yeah. things yeah. back gradually and I like that. and no, because I like that. that's what i want to see when i go somewhere as well like you know and that's what all the other parks are doing we're not doing anything that it, that other parks aren't doing or other resorts around the world are, are, are doing we're just we're just we're just doing it back again you know like we just brought i've just brought it back no just it's good it back but... with the team Bluey. <laughs> oh, Bluey. So and bingo. Danny doesn't know what Bluey I is. I did see that. No, right. I, do. I, I did see that episode. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get why everyone was going outrageous about She's it. A, like, she, 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 sorry, she. she. So it's already, Bluey, I don't, Bluey you know. Christine Healer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she, she's a worldwide phenomenon. Um, 
to be fair, we're actually going to Alton Towers tomorrow, Are and you? I'm taking my niece with me. Oh, how so old as, is she? Uh, she's six. She's got autism, bless her. So she loves like uh, Bluey. Oh. So she was like saying to me, "It's like yeah, Bluey," and I was like, "Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Gotta but, go and see Bluey." Yeah, I've got to see Bluey obviously for her. But um, Bluey geez. went down brilliantly. Yeah, everyone went <laughs> mad. As soon as Towers announced Bluey, that was like. Lee was the happiest man I've ever I, seen. I saw that episode and I was well entertained. I've got to say, like, I, I've got to say, it was so great. Like, someone uh, sent us a picture today of um, uh, it was like just promoting off the tracks on their Instagram, and uh, they literally replaced hey. John John Burton with a picture of Bluey and said they loved meeting Bluey on this day. And I was like, and then oh. a picture of my head on there as well. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but overall, and that's just adding. You know, like it's already adding to the mix and and kind of like doing those things. So bringing bringing that IP to to Sabibis was just it just was it just felt like the natural step forward. Yeah. Um. So really exciting. Really exciting. Obviously, we can't talk about too much of future plans and this and that, but can we get excited, should we say, really? I mean, is there, you know... In terms of projects? Yeah, projects. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and, and it is hard. Like, I can't, I can't talk about it. I can yeah. talk about projects in general. Um, and, you know, what is good is, is the investment and the commitment and, you know, projects that are in the pipeline. Um <laughs> I just, I just, I just, and, I just, and, that's, and that's kind of, and yeah. that's kind of what it is. There's projects in the pipeline, and I guess it's like, it's like what I spoke to you guys about, like with Scarefest. Yeah. You know, they are also very active conversations. Every single project, um, in in those forms of you know weekly weekly me- meetings and conversations, and you know investments and what's happening, and you know, in, on all those types of things, creatively. Um, what it means to the park, what it's going to do, you know, all those types of things have to be worked through, and it it's, it it takes it takes time and detail. Absolutely, and, yeah. you know, it's, it's just, massive. Like, it's I'm, massive. I'm just like, go, go. I'm so, I'm yeah. so patient. It's like- and, you know, and it, it matters about what's happening across the portfolio and the yeah, landscape absolutely. and all all those types of things. So, but projects are exciting. I love being a project. My role on a project is I basically bec- like you know my role is divisional director but when we start a project or when a project starts i am my my role is called the project champion um so everything like i'm the one that is you know orchestrating all of my team in terms of like what that what that project and what the impact is for them and their and what their role is within that project and what does it mean for operations what does it mean for merchandise like what, what does it mean for all of those departments um, and they play their role and I lead that part. And then there's the creative part. So the, we'll, we'll write a brief um, which comes from the park um, and we give that to MMM and yeah. then that MMM respond wow. to the brief and we get to sit there going, that's not quite, you know, because yeah. it's this audience, it's that, this is where we're going for it, this is what's in that area, you know, taking all those things into consideration. And then there's the investment side where I have to pitch it, where, you, you know, where you're talking about like the details and the investment and all of that sort of stuff and that goes through an approval or a disapproval you know, all yeah. those types of things. So it has a, like, I have a lot of different kind of like hats in that, in that, in that, um, in that kind of like project world, which I just, I just love. I just absolutely love Nemesis Reborn, Project Relentless. Um, I mean, that was great because I was on there for a year, like it had already been going. So I was sort of like, but then I had a year. So I was like, okay, there's enough time on this one to kind of like have an input, do some things, things. Yes. Um, and kind of like push. Um, so that was really great. So yeah, seeing I love you, being on projects. Seeing love you it. like really enthusiastic about uh, it makes uh, me very happy. <laughs> I've just stood here just <laughs> grinning. <laughs> <laughs> the entire, I mean, that, really? Like for me, it's like <laughs> you talk, you being enthusiastic about it. It's just like it's it just makes me excited even more. Yeah. Like for the future. I'm not. I mean, it's not like you're into. I'm not an enthusiast. Like no. I, I'm not the same. Um, but I but I get it and I get excited about it because Passionate. I love Passionate it. You know, it. like I just I love it. And I think that's also helps me take on like all the feedback and all the points of view and, you know, and I have to have thick skin because like there's also an opinion, isn't there? Like when someone goes, oh, they could have done that or they could have done that or why did they do that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm the one that's leading it. So like it is my job. Yeah. Um, and, and you can't please ways. everyone. No, but I have to be, I have to be able to sit back and go, are we able to deliver this? You know, when we're talking about mass audience and that's really important to me in terms of like, we have very different audiences that experience different things. We also have contracts in place for lots yeah. of different things as yeah. well, you know, like that goes on behind the scenes that we would probably wouldn't talk about front, front facing, yeah. you know? No, I, so, get that. I get that. Um, it doesn't mean we don't want to do other things. It just means like, I'm not, just like, it's just Planet Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> 
if Planet Coaster had a strategic side, that would be really cool. Wouldn't it? Like if there was like this kind of like strategy part of Planet Coaster, the non-fun, the non-fun no, stuff, yeah, that's it. right? That's probably where I'd look. I'd be like, come on, let's do some of that. Let's do some of that, Danny, together. Oh. I need you to focus. I'm focused. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, stop colouring in for a second. <laughs> Because we uh, need to think about all of these I things. Know, I know, yeah, I like, know. And to be fair, that you know, a lot of the people are literally like, why is this not being done? And I joke about it sometimes, a lot of the times. Um, a lot but, of the times. Yeah, a lot of the times. But, um, That's okay. But, but, yeah. we, but we kind of, we get it. I'm a fully grown man. I know that things don't happen overnight. Yeah. I, don't, I know that. Um, but I'm just so excited for the future obviously yeah. you've got your, your your walk in the track as well the uh, the lift hill obviously with uh wicker man and also oblivion as well which yes. is incredible as well yes. which is such a good idea uh bringing that back oh, so and after dark fantastic yeah event. after dark. i can't Those believe you Saturdays. did i can't believe you did that straight away i mean genius idea as well especially to see nemi at night what an absolute like you know although i didn't ride that night but yeah genius idea <sighs> And again, that comes from, again, like just I see all the feedback, like rides in the dark. I've never seen anything like it, like just the demand for it. And I guess when I was in Scarefest and I rode all the rides in the dark too because I was like, everybody was talking about Wicker Man before Scarefest. And I was like, what are they, why is this such a big thing? Like, because it's not even like, it's not like the lighting package for Wicker Man was, you know, anything that I thought or 13 or any of those Mm. attractions. I was like, what is it? And then, you know, I rode them all in the dark. I did them from a work perspective. And then I took my daughter and we rode Wicker Man in the dark. And I was like, this is really cool. Like, I get it. Okay, hang on a second. How can this play a how can this play a part at these other times? And, you know, just because obviously then then the the light change that we have from March, isn't it, till October. So yes. I was like this big portion of the year that doesn't get dark till 10.30. Like I'm going to bed and it's light and I'm like, okay, can't do rides in the dark now. Like, you yeah. know, like that's another seven hours of operation, you know, like so um, so it was just like trying to find that window. And then obviously as as Reborn was kind of like, and we were putting in, you know, I was putting in all the lights and we were like, I was like, oh, okay, let's do this at the start. This makes sense. When when is it, when is it going to change? We were like, we could do the first three weekends. And I was like, this is brilliant. Do this it. is perfect. And it was. Um, for the first three Saturdays. And it yeah. And then we just, you know, we were working on that in the background since the year before and, yeah. and just waiting. And I was like counting down the days till we made the announcement. Like I was so excited. Like I was so excited because I was like, oh, everyone's going to love it. Like everyone is just going to absolutely love it. And then it just exploded, didn't it? Was, it? Like, well, we've been asking it for ages. And the response, ages. yeah. And I was just like, wow, this is great. This yeah. is great. Right. Bianca, honestly, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We've been going on for like 50 minutes. Oh. Like, you know, we need to we like, could chat yeah. for more a I longer. Know. I literally have like 30 questions, but do you know what? We're going to do a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> will, will you agree? She went, we'll cut, cut. I ain't doing that. Yet. Yeah. Um, but no, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure it really has thank you so much for your time thank you it's been so nice to be here you better start coming to some of the events i will do i I I know i know pirates alton after dark yeah all of them scare fest i will be there i will be there fest we can't forget october October fest Fest. yeah fireworks and christmas all of them. I'll Look be, at him. He's I'll like be future, future DD. I know, listen, I know, listen. There you go. I told you. <laughs> Planet <laughs> Coaster. I've got to get time off from my, my, my business partners over there. He's recording. You know, he's, he's got to give me that the time off. But, you know. um, but no, seriously, Bianca, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so looking forward to the future for Alton Towers. I really thank am. You. Uh, we've been screaming for this for many, many years. It's amazing. It's happy. I'm so, oh, <laughs> bring it on. It's so, so good. But, um, but Bianca, yeah. at the end of every video, Right, I don't know if you noticed when you've been watching, we uh, do a thing called happy... Oh, there's a loud <laughs> car going outside. I'm going to redo that At the that end bit. of every video, we have our <laughs> right. Uh At the end of every video, we yes. clap our hands together and we say happy you know, riding. Do you know it? Do you know it? No. Okay, right, 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 right. Right. right, we clap our hands together and we say happy riding. Okay. Are you ready? Right, we're all going to do this no, together. I'm, I'm do we have to clap this. at the same time? No, oh. you can do whatever you want. Are we ending it then? Yeah. Right, okay, we'll, give me one second then. I need to warm it. Guys, thank you for so much. I don't know where I am now. Oh, I'm this is it. brilliant. Guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> oh, we're, what keep, do I we're keeping this in. Yes. We're keeping I don't, I don't, this in. This is the best. Guys, don't, don't get you to follow <laughs> us on, on our social medias on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you are doing this new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit this bell icon every time we upload, new, upload a new video. <laughs> you will be <laughs> notified. So I'm Jake, and that's Dan. And I'm Bianca. Until next time, happy happy riding. riding. That's the one. (laughs)